Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my newest bag to my collection. This is my Balenciaga Neo Mini City Bag. So if you would like to see what I keep inside, then please keep watching. But first, I would like to talk to you about Dossier. So Dossier is a high-quality, luxury-inspired fragrance brand, and they were sweet enough to work with me once again, so thank you so much. So I'm going to share with you the two fragrances that I got. So the first one is Citrus Green Apple, so it comes like this. This is how all Dossier fragrances will come to you, and these are 50 milliliter bottles. This fragrance is inspired by Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. If you notice that dent, I have been trying this fragrance. I do like to make sure I can give you guys a honest review on my channel. So I do own the original Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. I also have the Intense version. The Dossier Inspired version definitely lasts longer. I feel like Dolce & Gabbana you may get like one to two hours, but it does not have very good staying power. But this, I can literally get eight hours. The top notes are green apple, lime, middle notes are bluebell, jasmine, and rose, and the base notes are amber, cedarwood, and musk. I highly recommend this as a signature scent. You can get away with this if you work in an office, day, night, but it's very all year round. It's very fresh if you are into fresh scents. You know, I have to spray myself. And the last fragrance I got is Fruity Oak Moss, and this is inspired by Creed Aventus for her. So my honest opinion of this fragrance, I don't really like it, but if you are a Creed Aventus for Her fan, definitely give this a try. Creed Aventus for Her is a fragrance that you've had your eye on. This is a better option to test it out and see if you like it because Creed Aventus for Her is very pricey. This fragrance, I don't know. I think it's the patchouli. If you watch my channel, you know that I am not a patchouli lover. I do not like that note. Top notes are green apple, bergamot, and lemon. The middle notes are peach, rose, ylang ylang. I cannot ever say that. And the base notes are musk, oak moss, patchouli, and sandalwood. If you have your eye on Creed Aventus for her and you do not want to spend that price, then definitely go for this, but I'm not a fan of the smell. <laughs> well, thank you so much to Dossier for sending me those fragrances, and if you are interested in any Dossier fragrances, I do have a coupon code. I will leave it on the screen. So this is the Neo Mini City Bag, and there is one that is a little bit smaller. I'm not quite sure which one that is, but that was way too small. I feel like this is like the perfect size, even though this is a tiny bag. I feel like you can fit so much into this. They wanted a white bag for the summer, and I saw Minx for All here on YouTube have this bag, and I just fell in love with it after seeing her talk about it. I was going to do an unboxing, but I ordered it off of the Balenciaga website, and it literally just came in the shipping box and in this dust bag so I didn't really think it was gonna be that exciting <laughs> so I did want to show you guys what I end up keeping in this bag and also what you can fit and this bag also comes with a adjustable removable strap so you can wear it as a shoulder bag or as a crossbody so the bag has silver hardware and you get these little tassels zipper pulls you get two separate zippers okay so here is the bag right here I think in the intro I made a mistake and said that this was not a real pocket so this actually does open as a pocket but it's very small and very hard to get into it kind of reminds me of the palm springs mini backpack that front pocket which you can use but it is a little hard especially if you have nails and then on the back it has no back pocket i want to show you guys that the toiletry 15 is a little bit smaller than this bag just for reference i am going to show you that it does fit inside of this bag a little later so here's all my items so the first thing i see is my chanel mirror it comes in this little case and the case is a little dirty but i love this mirror i have been giving this 
uh, recently to my friends for their birthdays, for Christmas, things like that. I just think this is, just every girl needs this. Like, it's super cute. My phone in here, which is a iPhone 12, and I got this case from Amazon. I have my wallet, which is the Recto Verso wallet from Louis Vuitton. I love this for my smaller bags. I think this wallet is so worth it also have my key clay which has been in all of my what's in my bag videos. I have this. It has my license in here and things pertaining to my car. I do have my key fob attached. But yeah, I just think this is the perfect beginner piece for Louis Vuitton, so I highly recommend this. If you have it, I know you love it. I have some hand sanitizer because you always need this. Next, I have this Chanel hand cream, which I have been loving. I really want to try the one that comes in the black egg, but I love this and I feel like like I have noticed the difference in my hands. Um, I hope it's not just because it is Chanel, but I don't mind the smell either. I am not a Chanel perfume fan, but this scent doesn't bother me, so I highly recommend this. I got this from Ulta. Next, I have this perfume decant, which I got this from Neiman Marcus. Inside, I have Nishani 100 Silent Ways. I love this fragrance. I highly recommend it is the bottle if you were interested just in case you would like to try this. I do recommend this fragrance. I think it is so good. It smells so good. It's very sweet and it lasts a very long time on the skin. And the last things that are left in my bag are some makeup products. So first I have this lipstick from Gucci. It's called Linda Beige. And if anyone's ever wondering what I'm wearing for my nude lipstick, it's usually this. So I will swatch it. So it's a really pretty nude color. And I really want to start incorporating makeup more into my channel, so if you'd be interested in that, please let me know down below. I have this lip gloss, which is literally my favorite nude lip gloss. This is see-through from MAC. As you can see, it's loved. And yeah, this is my favorite. I will swatch it again. I have this lipstick, which makes me really sad that they discontinued this because this was part of a collection. I think it was Vibe Tribe. And this is Arrowhead from MAC. And I wish they would bring this back because this is such a beautiful nude and I love it. I'm happy that I bought backups, but I am sad that you can't get your hands on this. Then I have my Lily Lashes eyelash glue and I get this from Ulta. And this is my favorite lip liner currently. This is Makeup by Mario and this is Milk Chocolate. I love his lip liners. I highly recommend them. They are so good. And this is like a true brown color. So there it is right in the middle. And yeah, so that was everything that was in my bag. But I do want to show you that you don't get any zipper pockets. It's just one big compartment. But you do get kind of like this slot for maybe like a card or something if you don't want to carry a wallet. I also wanted to show you that the Toiletry 15 does fit, but it does take up basically all of the room of the bag, but it does fit. So for a reference, if you have the Toilet Tree 15, just know that it is a little bit smaller than this bag. And that is everything that is in my bag. And that is it for this video. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please like this video, leave me a comment down below, share with your friends, and please subscribe so you won't miss out on any more videos from me. And I will see you in the next one.